Do you think that more regulation is the answer, that that is what is needed to try and be, bring more stability to this market? Uh, I think it depends. Uh, in, when it comes to stablecoin, there are two types of stablecoins. One is a fiat-backed stablecoin like USDT and USDC. The other one is the uh, ALGO-based uh, stablecoin, as what we have seen with UST and Terra. Uh, um, I think it really depends because the former, to me, feels more like a bank situation where you have to have sufficient capital uh, reserve uh, that is there to back uh, the asset. In the second case, it's more uh, design, algo design focused. So if there is a floor in its own design, then um, uh, we will see situations like what we have been experiencing last week. Um, so I think it really depends on what type of stable coin are we talking about. So, look, I mean, look, there are thousands of cryptocurrencies and obviously it's been a real ro roller coaster ride. It's an area that isn't fully understood by a lot of investors at the moment. So sort of the various ruptions that we've been seeing in stable coins and in, 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 in other coins, do you think that this is just sort of part of the maturing process of the market or do you think that we're seeing uh, sort of an existential threat to cryptos in general? Oh, to crypto itself, yeah. No, I think it's actually a growing pain. Uh, we are going through stages. We have in crypto, we've seen, we tend to see cycles where people start to build uh, around a certain uh, uh, vision that they believe in. And then there will be a period of building. Uh, and then investors start to look around and, and see value in certain assets. The, the, um, the excitement builds up and uh, many times the... Uh, perception um, uh, goes uh, ahead of the reality. Um, that happens with other technology too, including the, the um, dot-com uh, bubble that we experienced earlier in 2000s. So I think this is really a, a part of the industry growing and in it's very early stage. And uh, part of it is also when there are uh, shocks in the system and we have uh, liquidation, part of the forced liquidation happening, sending waves uh, throughout the, the market. You see uh, investors being liquidated um, when they had higher leverage as well. So I think there are two elements playing in here. But, but in, in, in summary, I think it's really about the, uh, the cycle, the, the growth that the industry is going through.